again I'm feeling murderous again a crucial bloodline which bruises the bones and violates from the inside out, seeking retribution against the host of its flesh carrier. Electrospasms of agitation, spinning shockwaves which ripple under the skin, irritating from the outside in. This is where a part of me always lives. This is where a part of me always lives. The blood letter, the maniac, the psychotic, the schizophrenic, suffering from mood swings. I scream at myself to just stop. I scream at myself to just stop, to try to find a way to make each goddamn day not feel so fucking murderous. Hyperactive limbo, electric rigor mortis, one foot in front of the other, a thousand more Sisyphean feats. The slow leaking of light. Night creeps in and I start to lose it. What I hide from in the shadows cast by the sun develop a petulant luminescence as the dark sets in a strange hollow form. A strange hollow forms in the pit of my gut like something has been ripped away. What the fuck am I doing? Separating this horrendous now from the night, separating the night from this horrendous now, the crushing bruise, the empty hollow, the slow peeling soul murder of my own life force as it repels against itself. This is how I feel. This is how I feel when my desire is denied, when my hunger has to be kept in check, when it is ignored, when I pretend it does not exist, when I attempt to placate it with false fuels, minor distraction, inaction, stasis, when that part of me that is frozen is kicked in the teeth by a brute desire born of fire and fury because a rebellion staged by one is not a revolution. It is simple fucking madness. mistress of a lunatic who's been on the lam for decades. I'm called in for questioning. Grilled about my participation in the perpetration of crimes too numerous to mention. How the hell am I supposed to remember what happened 28 years ago? I can't even remember what happened 28 minutes ago. It's like trudging through the vast overgrowth somewhere deep in the backwoods and dredging through the dirt of an unmarked grave looking for clues to the evil that befell a mutilated corpse left rotting in the rain. And of course, if you're me, which you are not. <laughs> <laughs> 
The details get a little sketchy as I attempt to stitch together a timeline based on random samples of circumstantial evidence. You're saying cold, hard facts, but the crusty wound in my memory banks is like a grungy gorge almost too wide to circumvent. And like any good psychic detective sworn to tell the truth, which any detail that I can't recall, I will simply omit, which ends up in the end favoring my defense. And here we are, and here we go. And the less said about the details, the better, because quite frankly, I can't recall all of those details left buried where the mysterious relics of lost remembrance form a toxic stew, which one day may erupt, but for now, I'm keeping my fucking mouth shut, and that which I can not remember is probably better left unsaid, and you can fill in the fucking details.